Hi folks, Andrew here. Thought I'd um, give you a little update on what's going on. It's been a little over a month since my last video, and that's because no camera. Well, I, I could always shoot with the uh, camera built into my work laptop, but the quality's crap, and I've been trying not to do that. Uh, the last few videos you've seen, with the exception of how many licks, uh, have been shot on a camera borrowed from my chorus, or uh, the man your games could sell to, the Old Spice parody, was shot with a uh, one of my YouTube viewers' uh, camera, who came down from, I think, Riverside to help me shoot that, so thank you, Kyle. Uh, the last video, the Batman video, was shot with a new camera that I purchased. Um, and as, as you could tell, the quality wasn't quite there. The color reproduction was awful. In fact, I had to redo the color balance um, because my room and wall was like this yellowish green color. So I had to color correct, which I've never done before, so I had to teach myself how to do that. And it turned out okay. Whites were okay. Made my lips kind of purple, but eh. So, got a new camera, and I'm just doing this to test it out. Actually, I was going to do another video tonight. Um, I'm playing, I'm gesturing toward my computer, which is over there. Where is it? I'm playing Broken Sword 4. Uh, the company behind the game, Revolution, something like that, uh, is doing a Kickstarter for the fifth game, and I had played the first two games and really, really liked them. I'm a big point-and-click adventure fan. And uh, I own 3 and 4, but I had never gotten around to playing them, so I thought, well, now's a good time. Played 3 last week, thought it was quite good, especially for a point-and-click adventure game that uh, went from uh, 2D and hand-drawn cell-shaded uh, cell graphics to 3D. Oftentimes, games have trouble with that transition to 3D. Look at the third Gabriel Knight game. Good game! Don't get me wrong, but... Late 90s, real awkward, uh, <laughs> real awkward transition to 3D. But Broken Sword 3 and 4 are actually very good. So I'm playing uh, Broken Sword 4 today, and I'm, I'm sure I'm at the, the end game. I'm, I'm, I'm probably like 30 minutes to an hour away from the end of the game. And I get to this one point in the catacombs, and my computer-controlled character is standing right in my way, and I am trapped between literally a rock and a hard place, a concrete pillar, which has a sign on it that I was reading, because I must click on every single clickable thing in an adventure game, and a small rock that my character can't just step over. Oh, no, 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 he has to go that way, which the damned uh, non-player character is standing in front of. So, I was going to make a video where I'm sitting... You can't see it, but I have my uh, keyboard and my mouse, and I was going to make like I'm playing the game and completely stuck and yelling at the game and making stupid jokes. Um, one of the jokes I had written was, uh, I, you know, I know how to get her out of the way, I'll slip her my salami. And then I go into, into my inventory, grab the salami, which is actually an inventory item, and click on her. <laughs> ah, so witty. Uh, yeah, you know, little jokes like that, and then getting overly frustrated, and then clicking on the knife in my inventory, and clicking on her, and, you know, it doesn't do anything. My character is running around in, a, in place in a circle, and it's, MOVE! I have to save the world, and I can't because you're in front of me! Gah! And right before I smash another keyboard, there would be a knock at the door, I would go outside and there would be a package waiting for me and oh good the last story is finally here yay let's play this instead so yeah um i got my new camera and uh, and the last story in the mail today so twas a good male day which is right up there with a good female day so, I write my script, I set up the shot, and for some reason I decide 
I'm going to record the footage first from, from the game. So I load up the game, I load up my capture software, and my character breaks free. <laughs> so no video for you. But um, at least I get to finish the game. Because, you know, I, I could start from the... It's Right now it's Saturday. I was playing the game all day. And um, the last time I had saved the game, which was the last time I shut it off, I think when I went to the gym or had lunch or something like that, uh, was five hours previous. So I'd have to play through five hours a game. Probably could have done about two since I knew what I was doing. But I could have replayed it, but there was no guarantee that he wouldn't get stuck in the same spot. So luckily he unstuck. It was kind of a cute video. It was mainly just something to get up there for you guys, which is which is why I'm doing this, just to talk to you and also to test out my new camera. So you can see uh, this is uh, as high def as I can get on my budget. So I know some of you have said, Good Lord, Mr. Eisen, the video quality. Oh, oh God, can't take it. It's like watching something from the 80s. Yeah, I, I wish I could do better, but uh, if you want me to do better, send me thousands of dollars and I will buy really expensive, really nice camera equipment. Next on the list is a microphone, because I'm using the camera's microphone, and uh, should be okay. Uh, anything else I want to tell you guys? Ooh! Weird thing. I have two overhead lights in my room. Uh, that's actually my kitchen light, if you're wondering where that light source is. Bathroom light. I'm turning on every light. It's hot as hell. I have the fan off, because otherwise you hear it. That's what, You get to watch me sweat in high def. All right. And I... Luckily that broke... I was going to cut my hair and shave before I did the video, but now pff, I got dressed. I put on pants for you guys. Be happy. So, um... Let's see. I've been having some problems here at the house. One of my lights went out. Didn't burn out, the bulb is okay, but the light went out. Weird. So, uh, I go into the kitchen and turn on the light and the damn light won't turn on. There's nothing wrong with the light, it's just something wrong with the light switch. I can't get it to turn on. So, th I think this was Monday. So I go to work thinking, alright, I'm gonna put in a maintenance request, and I totally forget because I'm like that. I didn't know I had a three-day Labor Day weekend until uh, Friday afternoon when someone told me. Otherwise, I would have come into work. Although, Labor Day seems like a pretty good day, good day to come into work. So, Monday. Totally forget. Come home. I only have one light, so it's really dim in here. Eh, I can deal. Uh, Tuesday. Forget again. Wednesday. Forget again. Come home. And I'm doing something. I'm, I'm either um, getting dressed or d doing something over there. And the light just turns back on. And I managed to get the kitchen light to come back on, too. I have never seen that happen before. Spooky. Alright, let's see. Anything else I should tell you guys? Anything else you should know? More videos are coming. Uh, I have a video that is prepped. I've got some props right out of frame that you can't see because it would spoil the surprise. Um, I need help with this one. I'm trying to find... All of my friends are even busier than me, which is kind of amazing. Uh, so I, I actually need someone to help with this one, uh, handle props off camera. And uh, I've been having trouble finding people to... Uh, uh, have the time to come over and help. So we'll see. But I, I have lots of ideas. It's just a matter of uh, finding the time to shoot them. Uh, but don't worry, I will get on it. I am also considering doing a short Let's Play. I know a lot of you have requested I do a Let's Play. I don't know why. Millions of people do Let's Plays. I'm not sure what I could add to it, but um, I have an idea that might be kind of fun. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, that's enough for now. I'm going to review this footage. I, I don't know if I'll post it. Maybe I will. Um, yeah, until my next video, 
Thanks for watching and uh, take care.